This video demonstrates the Distance and Travel Time Tables tool, which creates a table or Excel file that lists the costs of travel between any number of origins and destinations, allowing you to quickly identify closest and backup locations ranked by travel distance or time. The origins and destinations can be point or area layers. If they are in the same layer, then you will need to create selection sets of which features are origins and which are destinations. In this case, I have a map that contains a point layer of convenience stores and a separate point layer that contains distribution centers that service the stores. Since my map layers are ready, I can go ahead and choose Tools, Routing and Directions, Distance and Travel Time Tables. I'm going to use the Retail Store layer for my origins, use all 336 features, and use the Name field to identify the stores. Next, I'm going to use the Distribution Center layer for my destinations, use all four features, and also use that layer's name field to identify the distribution centers in my travel time table. You can choose whether to base the distances on driving routes or straight lines. If you choose routes, you can choose whether to base the table on time, the fastest route, or on distance, the shortest route from the origins to the destinations. I'll go ahead and leave this on fastest. If you want, you can also choose to omit from your tables any origin destination pairs that exceed a threshold by checking this box and entering a maximum value in minutes or distance units. Finally, you can choose how to lay out the results. I'm going to run this procedure twice so that you can see the differences. The first time I'll choose the table option, and instead of opening the results in Excel, I'll uncheck this box and click OK. Maptitude calculates the fastest or shortest paths among all of the origins and destinations and creates a travel time table of the results. If you chose to base the table on routes, this step may take a while depending upon the number of origins and destinations you are using and how spread out they are. You can see in the resulting table the travel time and distances are shown for each origin and destination with separate rows for each pair. For example, these first four records show the fastest travel time and distance from store 1 to each of the four distribution centers. Now I'm going to go back to the map and again choose Tools, Routing and Directions, Distance and Travel Time Tables. I'll use the same settings up here. But this time, choose the Matrix option and open in Excel. I'll call my new Excel file Store Logistics and click Save. Again, Mapdudu calculates the fastest or shortest paths among the origins and destinations and launches Excel showing the resulting matrix. This first tab shows the travel time in minutes from each of the origins to each of the destinations, so you can easily determine the closest, second closest, and farthest distribution centers from each store and this second tab shows the distances. And that wraps up this video on creating distance and travel timetables.